So Congressman Steve King is, uh, well, he's got a lot of white supremacist ties. He regularly tweets out white supremacists uh, on Twitter, Geert uh, uh, Wilders, uh, who was the uh, Dutch uh, white nationalist, um, tweeted his, uh, uh, you know, his stuff out. Uh, he has said some pretty racially charged things about Mexicans and about, you know, other people's uh, children. You can't rebuild civilization on other people's babies, uh, etc. Uh, so, and he's also taken a recent trip where he had met with white nationalists and had some uh, questionable endorsements uh, or who has made questionable endorsements, uh, I should say. Now, all of that uh, is, is basically context into what you're going to see uh, because recently at a campaign speech, there was somebody who uh, decided to question him on his ties to white nationalism. And uh, of course, he had this to say. And, and you and the shooter both share an ideology that is fundamentally no, anti-immigration. Do not associate me with that shooter. I knew you were an ambusher when you walked in the room, but there's no basis for that, and you get no questions, was, you get I'm, no answers. I was about to ask no, you what done. distinguishes you your ideology. Your I was about to ask no. what distinguishes you're your ideology. Across the line, it's not tolerable to accuse me to be associated with a guy that shot 11 people in Pittsburgh. I am a person who if has stood with Israel from the beginning, that to the length of that nation is the length of my life. I was about and to say I've been with them all along, and I will not answer your question. I'll not listen to another word from you. If you don't have and a white supremacist okay. worldview, then why did you travel to Austin this is to meet with the white supremacist organization? I, I believe it. I think he's given up. I think he's given his answer. I think that okay. that his answer is his answer. Yes, but do you please. identify as a white supremacist? Sir, stop it. Sir, then why did you meet with the white supremacist? Sir, that's it. They're done. I would ask whoever is guarding this door to leave this man out of the room. Yeah. I believe somebody uh, appears to be triggered. <laughs> that reaction. Just, no, to, to, to get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm not going to answer any of your questions. Get, the guy, get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Snowflake. Yeah, he doesn't have any answers to it because he knows that it looks incredibly bad. <laughs> and I love his answer. Oh. So, uh, what do you mean? I, I, I met with a white supremacist. Uh, look, I love Israel. I love Israel. It ties me to that country. I'm tied to that country. No, you, no, you know why a lot of uh, Republicans uh, like Israel? It doesn't have anything to do about Judaism, right? In fact, uh, their belief is that the Jews will be all killed when Jesus returns. The whole reason that they love Israel is because they think that it, it, it basically feeds into their fantasy of having Jesus return, which again involves uh, one of the major mosques being destroyed and the Temple Mount, uh, you know, all the Jewish people returning to Israel and then being murdered um, or, or converting to Christianity. So it's that belief in the end times that actually ties him to Israel. So that's how people who are super supportive of Israel can be both anti-Semitic uh, and, of course, uh, white nationalist. Which, again, if you reach into the bottom of that barrel of white nationalism, it you know what pops out? The last thing in that barrel is anti-Semitism. And we have seen an incredible rise uh, of anti-Semitic attacks you know, attacks against uh, Jewish people, for example, the uh, Tree of Life Mosque, or I'm sorry, synagogue that uh, was attacked just recently uh, by a white nationalist who said, oh, no, I uh, who believed in the conspiracies of uh, George Soros is funding the caravan to try to replace white people. It's all the Jewish people. Look, you had Republicans running ads uh, of like uh, greedy looking Jewish people hoarding piles of cash with a grin. I, that is white supremacist imagery. And Steve King has talked to neo-Nazis. And so he is definitely connected to this. So to say, oh no, I like Israel is not a good defense. Is not a defense at all. And is basically ridiculous. But anyway, I, look, let's go into some of the other things that uh, King has said. Now, of course, uh, they did reference that you can't uh, rebuild your civilization with someone else's babies. Of course, we've talked about that before. 
uh, that video is still insane when you think about it because that's the reason that he's against abortion. It's racism. He's not pro-life. He's pro-white people. And so that's his entire reason, I think, for being against uh, abortion and contraception because he wants more white babies. He doesn't want more babies. He wants more white people babies. So, again, that is a big flag that points to King's racism. Uh, now, not only that, he also endorsed Faith Goldie. Now, who's Faith Goldie? Well, Faith Goldie uh, is somebody who is running for Toronto mayor. Now, Faith Goldie is also an avowed neo, uh, uh, I'm sorry, white nationalist. And she was recently on a neo-Nazi podcast. Well, not recently. This was around the time of Charlottesville, actually. Uh, the Charlottesville <clears throat> uh, rally where Heather Heyer, of course, had been run over by a member of the alt-right. Uh, the same rally where people with the tiki torches were saying the Jews will not replace us. So she was on a neo-Nazi podcast with the Daily Stormer, right? Uh, and that's the person that Steve King gave a huge endorsement to. Gee, I wonder why. Now, he styles himself as the defender of, uh, you know, Western values. Well, Western values, that's actually uh, not white nationalism. Western values of democracy and multiculturalism, right? Those are actual Western values. Making sure that old people are welcome and that old ideas are welcome and that we have an, uh, an open exchange of culture. That's Western values. But he frames it as, or I should say the white supremacist movement, frames it as, oh no, it, we just mean white Europeans. Ah, I see. Not only that, there's more. King also warned in an interview with an alt-right publication that, quote, if we don't defend Western civilization, then we will become subjugated by the people who are enemies of the faith, enemies of justice. There is no justice in what Steve King advocates for. There's more. Uh, when talking about uh, Dreamers, uh, DACA recipients, he said that for everyone who's a valedictorian, there's another 100 out there that they weigh 130 pounds and they've got size the ca uh, calves the size of cantaloupes because they're hauling 75 pounds of marijuana across the desert. That's, uh, yeah. I, I don't even think I have to explain why that one's... Uh, incredibly racist but he has a long long history of saying these things and now he's actually getting a lot of scrutiny for that and it's amazing that he never had before but he's actually getting donors that are dropping out corporate donors no longer backing him uh the only person that's backing him right now in congress is ted cruz sad so he's in a he's in a world of trouble uh and it's understandable why he is lashing out when people start to question him because for so many years he was he went unquestioned with this kind of racist rhetoric uh this white you know in, in support of white nationalism i hope he loses his next election we've got to get this guy out of office Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.